Well, good afternoon, everybody. And today we're going to do a fun activity to test your calorie knowledge. When you're trying to eat healthy, whether you're trying to shed some pounds or just maintain a healthy lifestyle, understanding how many calories you're eating, whether it be at a meal or for snacks, um, can help you um, make better food choices. So today we're going to take a really quick quiz and see how knowledgeable you are about how many calories are in different foods that you may be eating. I'm Denise Smith. I'm the University of Wyoming Extension Food and Nutrition Educator for um, Niobrara County and the surrounding area. And so today, if you could just grab a piece of paper and a pencil, I'm going to ask you 15 different um, questions about different foods. And if you could write your answer down, I want you to write down the answer of the food that has the highest amount of calories. There is 15 groups of foods here, and we're going to see how many you can get right. So Erin, I don't know if you want to get a little closer to our foods. So remember, you're to write down the food with the highest amount of calories. So our first um, grouping of foods is either one plain bagel or one pita bread. So figure out which one you think of those has the most calories. Question number two, is it a piece of French toast or one pancake? Group number three is a half a cup of quinoa or a half a cup of brown rice? Cooked. Cooked, cooked. yes. Yeah, you wouldn't want to eat them like this, but yes, cooked. Our fourth group is one cup of bran flakes or one cup of Honey Nut Cheerios. Fifth is a medium-sized avocado and a medium-sized mango. Our next group is four stalks of asparagus. Unfortunately, I only had three, but consider four, or four Brussels sprouts. Um, sixth, seventh, no, that was fifth. Sixth is, um, oh yeah, that was four spears of asparagus. Seventh is two tablespoons of almond butter or two tablespoons of cashew butter. And we're going to go to eighth, which is a half a cup of kale or a half a cup of spinach. These are both raw. Number nine is a salmon sandwich or a tuna sandwich. Ten is ten pretzels or one rice cake. Eleventh is um, a half a cup of baby carrots or a half a cup of grapes. Twelfth is an ounce of raisins or an ounce of banana chips. Thirteenth is if you were going out to Subway to have a sandwich, would you get the nine grain um, whole grain bread or a white flat bread? Next is a tablespoon of ranch dressing or a tablespoon of 
Thousand Island salad dressing. And our last one is an ounce of cheddar cheese or an ounce of feta cheese. So does everybody have their answers written down? And I don't know if you want to um, kind of zoom in on our pair while we're talking about them. So in our first grouping, which was the bagel and the pita bread, the bagel definitely has more calories, even without butter or cream cheese. Um, a four inch bagel is 195 calories. This is definitely bigger than a four inch bagel. And I looked on the package and it has 270 calories. Whereas our pita um, weighs in at only 170 calories. So no matter if you had a smaller bagel than this, um, the bagel is still the more calorie laden one. And usually we eat bagels with lots of good things like cream cheese, butter, peanut butter, um, some of our other nut butters. Um, whereas the pita you might fill with um, some meat and some raw veggies. So the, the toppings are also different. Our second grouping was the French toast versus the pancake. And this is a, probably a really easy one. Um, French toast um, weighs in at about 149 calories per slice. That's if you're using plain white bread and not getting all fancy with all the berries and whipped cream and all the other good stuff. Whereas a five inch pancake um, is about 86 calories. You can add a lot more calories again to your pancake by adding the butter and the syrup or the um, whipped cream or whatever, but um, plain versus plain, the French toast is much more calorie laden. So number three, um, the quinoa versus the brown rice um, as a side dish, you would want to opt to eat the quinoa. It is the much less calorie laden. It has about 70 calories and is much higher in protein than many other grains. The same amount of brown rice is about 115 calories. So if you haven't given quinoa a try, it has a real nutty flavor. You cook it sort of like um, rice or other whole grains and it is really good as a side dish or in other things such as salads. Our next one, um, the bran flakes versus the um, honey nut Cheerios. Our bran flakes are much higher in calories. Um, you have to remember that bran flakes are much higher in um, fiber, but they do have about 185 calories per one cup, while the Honey Nut Cheerios have 134 calories. And that's plain without you adding the milk or the sugar to them. So again, if you're just gonna snack on them dry, um, Honey Nut Cheerios are, are a better calorie option even that way. So now we go to number five, which is our avocado versus the mango. Our avocado and mango are basically the same size and the same shape. However, a medium-sized avocado is about 300 calories and a medium-sized mango is about 200 calories. So I am not an avocado fan, so I would definitely pick the mango even if it had more calories, but um, the avocado is much more dense in calories. So then we go to our um, Number six, Brussels sprouts versus asparagus. Um, Brussels sprouts are the higher um, calorie vegetable. The, the, if you had four of these little Brussels sprouts, they're equal to about eight calories a sprout. And so that would equal 32 calories, whereas our four spears of asparagus are about 16 calories. 
both are really high um, in vitamins and are great for you to eat. And at 32 calories versus 16, you're, you're not going to get a whole bunch of difference. Asparagus contains B6, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, folic acid, iron, and fiber. Whereas our Brussels sprouts contain calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C. A Brussels sprout is basically 69% carbohydrate, 26% um, protein, and 5% fat. So you are getting some fat with the Brussels sprouts is the reason they're higher in caloric value. Our number seven, the almond butter versus the cashew butter. Um, either of these are great um, toast toppers. They would also be great um, on a tortilla with some other like nuts or granola or whatever. And um, two tablespoons of almond butter adds up to 205 calories while cashew butter is at 190. So both of these are pretty calorie laden and so you would want to eat them sparingly. Now down here, when we compare kale to spinach, um, a half a cup of spinach is 22 calories and the same amount, a half a cup of kale is 19 calories. So again, they're both very, um, moderate to low in calories, and they would make a great um, salad blended together so you get the vitamins from each of those. Um, kale is also fun to make kale chips, which are an alternative to potato chips. So in our sandwich selection, um, the tuna salad sandwich is much higher in calories than the salmon salad sandwich. A salmon salad sandwich has 340 calories, while a tuna sandwich has 371 calories. The advantage to eating the salmon salad sandwich is also it contains a lot of the omega-3 fatty acids, which are really good for you. So this one kind of surprised me, the um, rice cake versus pretzels. Pretzels weigh in uh, about 19 calories for th this amount of pretzels, whereas a rice cake is one of these rice cakes, it's 35 calories. Um, I'm not a real rice cake fan. I think it, they're kind of like eating cardboard. So I would much rather spend my snacking calories on um, pretzels. Our next one is the grapes versus carrots. The grapes are um, much higher in calories. Um, they weigh in at about 57 calories per half cup serving, and the carrots are about 25 calories per half cup serving. In the raisins versus banana chips, the banana chips are definitely the higher in calories. Um, many of the banana chips are fried when they're manufactured or um, preserved to give them that nice crisp um, texture. And so for a one ounce serving of banana chips is 148 calories and a, um, 60 raisins or a, about an ounce of raisins is 85 calories. So you are saving a great deal. You do need to remember these are dried fruits and they're very high in sugar content. And um, of course that's what makes them really tasty, but if you're having to watch your sugar intake, try to avoid dried fruits. So in the bread from um, Subway, the nine grain is my favorite bread at Subway and it comes in at 210 calories, whereas the flatbread comes in at 220. So they're very, um, e pretty equal in calories, but you do need to check the nutrition label for other things such as um, the fat level and the sodium level in these breads. 
As far as our um, salad dressings, uh, a tablespoon of Thousand Island comes in at 57 calories and a tablespoon of um, ranch is 70 calories. Again, pretty, um, not that much apart in calories, but most of us eat a lot more than one tablespoon of dressing on our salads. So you need to remember that's what one tablespoon is. If you're gonna um, drench things in ranch dressing, that does add quite a few calories to whatever it may be, whether it's chicken strips or um, other things you like to dunk in ranch dressing, even carrots or um, celery, those kind of things. And our last calorie um, quiz item was an ounce of cheddar cheese and an ounce of feta cheese. An ounce of cheddar cheese um, is 113 calories, an ounce of feta cheese is 75 calories. Feta is really a tangy cheese and you find it on a lot of like salads, um, those kind of things. And it is so tangy, you don't need to use that much. So you're getting a lot of taste for not many calories. So if you're a feta cheese lover, um, that's a great topper to a lot of, of foods we eat. So just as a reminder, these were just some fun things that we pulled together today to show you that, that you can make a difference in um, choosing the foods you eat each and every day to help you either lower your weight, um, maintain a healthy weight, or maintain a healthy lifestyle. So um, again, a plug to read um, nutrition facts labels on the foods that you do eat. And if you eat out a lot, maybe ask those places where you eat um, if they can supply you with the nutrition facts labels for the products that they serve. So here's wishing you a happy, healthy week ahead.